Welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my first installment of my summer series and I'm so excited to show you guys this video and I actually got a brand new lens and it's a Sigma lens and I'm in love with it and it looks really awesome. Today's video like I said is my first installment in my summer series and it's going to be a DIY and the DIY is going to be based off of pineapples because I love pineapples and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's get right into it. To find more inspiration for my DIY, I went onto Pinterest and searched the word pineapple DIY. My first DIY is going to be a pineapple canvas. Some materials you're going to need is a canvas, a full potato cut in half with a knife, an assortment of colored paints, and a paint wheel with your choice of brushes. After you cut your potato in half, you need to skin both sides. Then you need to make horizontal and vertical slits in the potato to look kind of like this. Then cut the other side of the potato to kind of resemble a tree top, like this. To paint the top of my pineapple, I use the colors green and dark brown to give the pineapple some dimension. Then I placed it on the canvas and I pressed firmly on the top and bottom to look like that. Then I missed some spots in the middle so I went back with a paintbrush and used the same paint to fill in the holes. Then I did basically the same thing on the bottom half of the pineapple but then I used the colors yellow and kind of a burgundy red color to give that side dimension. Then again I applied the potato and pressed firmly on both sides. Then I went back and filled in all the little blank spots. Then ta-da, there's your beautiful canvas. To give the painting a little bit more pizzazz, I used a circle brush until I felt that there was enough dimension around the pineapple. Then after 24 hours, it's ready to use. Now on to our string of pineapples. While on Pinterest, I found this printable pineapple art and I printed it out on cardstock. You will need scissors or an X-Acto knife. Also string of any kind. And lastly, some extra cardstock. To begin, you're going to place your extra cardstock on top of your pineapple printout. Then begin carefully cutting out each pineapple with an X-Acto knife or scissors. After all the pineapples are cut out, place them in the order that you prefer. Then take out your string and measure it out to the length that you prefer it. For my wall, I personally cut 5 feet. Then to secure each pineapple on the string, I flipped it over on the non-printed side. Then I made sure each pineapple was about a foot away from each other. And I fastened a piece of tape on the back. And that's all, your garland is ready to hang on your wall. This last DIY is a delicious pineapple strawberry lemonade. The first thing you'll need is a glass beverage dispenser, and I got mine from Walmart for only a few dollars. You will need a full container of ready-made lemonade. This step is optional, but I also added in some raspberry flavoring. Lastly, to give it a more appealing look, I cut up some pineapple and some strawberries. To make it more pineapple tasting, put chunks of pineapple in the blender and pour that in. To begin, I poured about half the container of lemonade into the glass jar. Then I added about two packets of the lemonade flavoring. Then I topped it off with my chopped strawberries and pineapple. And to make this lemonade more fun, I actually found some pineapple straws at Dollar Tree. This lemonade is perfect to serve at a party or on a nice hot day. And it even got a thumbs up. And if you want to be a little bit more fancy, then I got this pineapple cup from the Dollar Tree, and it is the cutest little cup ever. If 
you try any of these DIYs, make sure to send me pictures on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what was your favorite DIY. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!